Hello everyone, I am back today with Janine House for a fresh round of interviews. Today has been classified in Australia as a day of mourning mm -hmm. as a result of the recent death of Queen Elizabeth II in England. We do have a tremendous amount of material and information to cover over the next few days. It's been difficult to know exactly where to start, but mm -hmm. going through it bit by bit, we should be able to bring the listeners and viewers a lot of new information. Mm -hmm. It's been a couple of months since our last interviews, but there has been some very good feedback on them. And I think you want to give us an update on certain things that are predicted to happen, and it's all tied in with certain dates or time frames, time spans. Yep. Can you begin by giving us a, a brief overview of what you've been looking at or what you think is on the horizon in the next few days, weeks, months? Wow. Okay. First of all, I'll say, um, hi, Robert. It's good to see you. You're Thank looking you. great. Thank I know, you. I know the viewers can't see you, but um, Robert looks healthy and happy. Thank <laughs> you. I try. And um, yeah, but I, I'm all dressed in black today, um, and I'm I'm not just mourning the loss of our queen, but I'm also grieving for the loss of all the people um, who've died from the pandemic, who've died from the um, from the jabs, and. And um, it, it gives me a lot of comfort to be able to express my grief in my clothing. I don't know whether other people have experienced this, but um, and I'm also grieving for what they have planned for what's coming and what people don't know is coming. And so I just want to share why I'm dressed in all black today. Okay, thanks Robert. for explaining. Yeah, thank, yeah. You, thank you for explaining You're that. You're very welcome. It really mm -hmm. has hit the headlines, the ascendancy of uh, Charles, Prince Charles now to uh, King Charles III. Mm. He's ascended to the throne of the British monarchy. Mm -hmm. um, the Queen has, the, well the death of the Queen has had quite a big impact on people all around the world. So, certainly in terms of media coverage, it's uh, it's been at saturation point. Mm. Um, can you tell us what you think might be um, what's uh, w what the significance is? You did mention to me privately that there was there was a significance in the date, not only of her death but even of her funeral. Mm. And uh, obviously, she she passed away on the eighth of September, which was the ninth of September for us here in the Southern Hemisphere, due to different time zones. And she was laid to rest, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, around the, the 20th of September. Mm -hmm. But you were telling me there is some significance about these specific dates. Can you, mm -hmm. can you explain mm -hmm. what the significance is? So obviously mm -hmm. you're, you're suggesting something than, than uh, random coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, this only became apparent to me because I was reading other um, reporters and um, some people have pointed out that it's 1776 days from the start of the Q posts um, which is quite interesting because QAnon has made the um, headlines quite a few times usually with a lot of um, snide mockery um, and I'm not necessarily a, a Q follower either but I'm curious as to what's going on with Q so 1776 days and the very day her death was announced was the date that the Liberty Bell was rung in 1776 so clearly they're, they're sending a message through this. It also happens to be 9-11 days from the date of the pandemic declaration on the 11th of the 3rd 2020 through to the Queen's death being announced at 6.30pm um, on the 8th of the 9th 2022. So exactly 9-11 days. So why is 9-11 significant? Now I'm going to go into this in great detail. Um, I'm going to take a, a broad look at all of these incredible time spans and events that have happened at the beginning and the ending of these interesting time spans that were actually prophesied um, to be occurring at this time thousands and thousands of years ago under the Prime Minister of Babylon and the Prime Minister of Medo Persia, his name was Daniel, and he prophesied of this time, and he prophesied of these um, these timelines, and Jesus um, spoke about it. 
So Jesus was familiar with it and he pointed forward uh, regarding these timelines and said they would occur just before Jesus coming. So that's why we're watching them very closely. And um, so I will go into that in a lot more detail, but I'll just answer the question why 9-11 is significant. Um, it's very significant because the Jesuits ring uh, signature is actually 9-11 in Roman, Roman numerals. So that is their signature and it's always a date stamp. And you'll find this very interesting. I've been following this for many years now and every time one of a, a major event occurs connected to the globalist advancement it's always on a 9-11 date very often it's on a 666 date and i will show how this date is both a 66 date and a 9-11 date the date that the queen was buried and there's a lot of significance to this so we find that these things are not accidental um, there's a lot more going on and um, so I, I don't know everything, um, I'm just sharing my observations, hopefully as everybody um, pulls together the, the little piece of the puzzles that they have, we'll get the whole picture. Um, so yeah, Robert, there's a, there's a lot more to share about what's coming up, um, about the end of, uh, so I should just mention that the date that the Queen, um, the date of the Queen's funeral was actually, I'm just looking at the board where I've got it written down, that was actually the end of um, 1290 days, sorry her death was 1290 days from the let me get it right, from the Pope's call, call for an ecological conversion. Her, yeah. The date of her death, not the date of her funeral. The date of her death, okay. yes. But then Biden made a very significant announcement on the date of her funeral, which I will go into. So I know I could talk about it all in the intro, but I don't want to overwhelm our introduction. Can I, just while I've got a second, yes. um, just say something for our viewers. Um, in the last um, presentation that I did, Rob, it. I talked a lot about some archaeological discoveries and I really didn't do a very good of that a job of that and I apologize um, and um, so I have available free for anybody who wants it just the cost of postage this video which is four hours footage of those archaeological discoveries that have been um, that have been um, basically covered up um, I mean they're, they're out there they are on the internet but the mainstream media and many of the channels that you would expect to cover this sort of thing are not covering it so incredible the greatest archaeological discoveries of all time don't miss it get yours um, contact me via news decoded or on telegram Janine Howes um, my uh, email is abundantlivingbooks at gmail.com or you can contact me via my website newsdecoder.org and just email me there if you'd like your free copy. And the, the title of that is Revealing God's Treasure. Yes, if you can't see it, it's called Revealing God's Treasure. Um, Biblical sites unearthed, Noah's Ark, Red Sea Crossing, Sodom and Gomorrah, Mount Sinai and the Ark of the Covenant, you don't want to miss that. The most explosive, exciting, dynamic uh, discovery the world has ever seen and is about to be revealed. So there's breaking news coming on that. And just to um, give another free offer as well, um, we have a very special book. This book was written by a lady given 2000 visions and dreams. She was called by God at the end of a 1335 year prophecy that fulfilled at the end of the dark ages. And she was called by God. She had a 70 year ministry and she was shown the events that are taking place in our world right now. So I don't want you to think that I've got any special, um, you know, some special, wonderful, miraculous ability. Um, I am a student of um, 
the prophets and this lady was given the gift of prophecy and her book covers the last 2,000 years from the time of Jesus death and it goes all the way up to the second coming and it explores the events that are coming so I encourage you to get your own copy of this I think every single person in the world needs a copy of this book um, everybody needs to know what's coming so I encourage you contact me again via those um, channels and I can um, get that off to you you just need to pay the postage that's all but if you can't afford it that's fine we'll cover it so yep. the DVD is available at no charge but what about the book the great controversy that you just mentioned yeah they're both free we're happy to offer them free if you want to make a donation to our work that would be wonderful um, there is a possibility that we will be making a very very special overseas trip in relation to the Ark of the Covenant so just keep that one on the on the back burner